Doctors don't intend What's up, guys? Welcome back. It's AP. Headmaster. We're playing some more In Hogwarts fact, Legacy. Scrope wants to surprise him. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in oh, peace, okay. was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Oh, this is Professor Before Black's she died, uh, house. She spoke album. with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. Oh, she okay. was delirious That's interesting. The end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Yeah. Scrope believes that a treasured black family ring is also in the grotto. Oh, Scrope okay, wishes to know. give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Makes sense. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. I mean, I'll look for it, man. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. Oh. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. Oh dear lord, that's a good heart. Really? Hmm. Go on and know more. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black Family Crest. The Headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. Okay. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Yeah. Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. You're spying on me? Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. I hope so, Scrope. Probably it seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Man, this is wild. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Always, man. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place it on the pedestal. Okay. There. Good luck. Oh. Bridget ah. jacked off. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. The name's Richard Jackdaw. Oh man, I'm dropping friends student, already. My just bad, like I you, guess. about a century ago. How in the world did you find this so, place? Uh, I'm working out the settings here. Sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Okay. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Can't blame him. I would Still holds too. a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Oh Can't yeah. Can't say I blame him. Definitely I stole does. all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. Uh -oh. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. Oh what boy. would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I bet not. Sounds like it wasn't. Oh, that would be nice. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So you know so what I'm looking for then. I followed the map. To what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Oh, yeah. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? And I'll show you where to find the I wonder the if he's in the Headless Hunt. You guys know, let me know. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? Props to you for doing it, though. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. Oh, okay, that makes sense. He has sense. a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He makes dropped sense. them after a particularly I mean, aggressive romp through the library. Okay, why the toast? Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. Makes they sense. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. No, they haven't yet. But I hardly attend classes, man. I think I could guess how you AP died, the bad student. But who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. I bet you did. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Got it. I suppose if that's the only way for me <laughs> to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, nah, dude. they're yours You're for the taking. All right, guys, that's it for AP. We'll be back in the next one. 
I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now.